We're back with the live action murder mystery game. Contradiction Spot the Liar. Mr. Rawlings here. Hello there. Now, what do we need to do? Let's uh let's just go and speak to I think it's Ryan, is it? Let's skip there actually rather than take time about it. Uh he should now be taking a class or seminar, whatever the hell it is, leading one as a lecturer for Atlas. So, because we got things to talk about with him and ask. Hello? Oh, he's there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm conducting an investigation in the area. Wouldn't mind asking you a few questions, alright? Jenks is such a fake name. <laughs> so come in, Inspector. Thank you. But apologies if your name is Jenks and you're watching this. <laughs> he's like, oh, fuck. I didn't want to get asked about this. <laughs> Drink, Inspector. I'd better not, eh? Hmm. So you wanted to speak to me? I believe that uh, Kate Vine was a student at Atlas. <sighs> Kate Vine? Well, yes, she was. All of this has been thoroughly investigated, Inspector. It was suicide. Well, we have reason to believe... <laughs> it was suicide, I tell ya! Really? Put the captions on. In that case, I'd be prepared to assist in any way possible. <clears throat> Thank you. Pleasure. Pleasure, cheers. Just gonna get pissed. Not being out of all the actor, but that guy's not that attractive, and both the girls he was with are pretty alright, and a lot younger. And it's, well, bearing in mind one of those girls is his wife, Rebecca, but yeah. Uh, right, so let's, let's ask him a few questions. I believe the last time you saw Kate Vine was at the pub last Friday, then you came straight back with some of the students, is that right? Uh, yes, oh, yeah. I'd like to have a glass of port or two after a long day, and benefits of being married to the landlady. How did she seem that night? The landlady? Kate. Oh, Kate. Uh, well, she was her usual self, drunk. That was usual. It was for her, yes. I mean, it didn't impair her ability, though. She was a very bright star, lots of potential, very enthusiastic. So she seemed to be enjoying the course? Well, as far as anybody could tell, yes. When did you first meet her? Uh, when she joined, about three months ago. And you hadn't met her before then? No. So you didn't suspect there was anything wrong? Well, do you mean did I expect her to drown herself? Of course I didn't inspect her. All right. It's quite a shock. Chill Nobody out. That. Have a drink. Have you seen this before? Not that I recall. You don't know <laughs> whether Kate had lost this or not. Uh, uh, no, I've never seen it before. Sorry. Okay. Does Simon Thompson ride a bike? Do you know? I think so, yes. I, th I think he drives as well, but I might be mistaken. Hmm. Know what this is? Yes. It's a freedom necklace. Uh, it's a symbol that we use on the course. It's supposed to represent freedom from the chains of your ancestry. Have you ever bought one of these? I haven't, but I've seen the students wearing them. Have you tried Simon's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? <laughs> no, I haven't had the pleasure, sorry. What do you know about the broken window at the back of the pub? Oh, uh, Rebecca told me about it. I don't know how it got smashed, though. I told her mm. to tape over it. We can't have anybody cutting themselves. You have to be very health and safety conscious these days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Rebecca said that he told us to do that though, it's a bit strange. Let's ask about the sex mask. Can you tell me about this? Haven't seen that for a while. We had a friend who used to make them for us for the course. He passed away last year. What does the uh, symbol mean? Uh, it's borrowed from paganism. It's the symbol of the triple goddess. The mother, maiden and crone, represented by the waxing and waning of the moon. 
Um, it's an ancient symbol. It predates Christianity. Some people say that it dates back to Paleolithic times. And is that uh, relevant to the course? Well, no, no, no. I mean, it, it's a symbol we, we dabbled with, but it's not particularly relevant. We don't use it on the course, no. Um, Simon says you do use it on the course. Do you know anything about an argument in the pub last Friday? In what time? I believe it wasn't long after well, the pub. Were well, there more than one argument? No. I usually leave for the manor house about well, weird 6. What a weird way to say. Uh, I start preparations around 6.30. I might like to get a head start. Yeah, but why didn't he say... Well, <laughs> what time? Yeah, because there's, there's an argument every hour, so I need to know which one you mean. Tell me about this. Ah, it's, uh, it's the first one we ever had made. We had it designed by an agency after we'd spent weeks trying to trying to find a name for this place. It took you weeks? I don't like that, Inspector. I thought it was a rather grand name. Actually, if I'm being honest, I plucked it out of thin air one night in the George while I was having a few gin and tonics. Well, actually, somebody left a book and I stole it. Do you know anything about the scrying mirror? I've seen one of these before. I believe that uh, looks like a scrying mirror to me. You have seen one before? Hmm. Well, I, I, I used to have one myself, actually, along with lots of other bits and pieces of that nature. Silly things, you know. Really? Uh, yes, I, when I was in my teenage years, <laughs> I had quite an obsession with that kind of thing. I, uh, I was a very somber child, uh, and, well, not that you could tell, always playing fantasy games, reading books about that kind of malarkey, you know. What sort of books did you read? Well, uh, books on black magic, as if not the chocolates. Um, witchcraft, awful. satanic <laughs> rituals, that kind of thing. So I, swami, I it's out, unreal. But you're not into that sort of thing now. <laughs> of course I'm not. Uh, but I mean, I don't need to believe in the supernatural, Inspector. The natural world is far more interesting. Don't you think so? Is he flirting with me? I don't. I can't tell. Um, right, I think that's all we've got then. But is there any contradictions? Um. Oh, no. He left. He starts preparation at no, six thirty. Okay. What time did Kate go to the meeting? Room? Uh, well, it's not a contradiction, is it? Hmm. Okay, I'll leave that for now. Thank you. I'm not sure later. there's a contradiction, or at least an obvious one, right this second. Is there anyone here? There's nobody there! Well, okay, let's, uh... Oh, hello. Something here, then. <laughs> what are you? Private eye. Well, uh, does no, in this town is drink. drink. Who are you looking for? I'm investigating a death in the village. That student, then. They did one last year, too. Same place. They did one, eh? Did what? Drowned a student. Oh, yeah. Ask that psycho about it. It runs that business cult thing up at the, the big house. <sighs> Bunch of nut jobs. Uh, uh, hey, uh, what was the student's name? Liam something. Hmm. Atlas's reputation precedes them. I think I might call the station, find out a bit more about this Liam. Hello, DCI Jones speaking. 
Mike, uh, it's Jenks. Hi, right, Jenks. I thought you'd clocked off tonight. Yeah, the chief's put me on a case tonight, the Edenton girl. Mighty Mike, you poor sod. I thought that was sorted out anyway. I wish it was. Listen, are you near a computer? Uh, I can't be. Yeah, go on. Do you know anything about a death last year? Someone called Liam in Edenton Village? Uh, I don't remember it. <laughs> Hang on, let's have a look. Edenton Village. Uh, yeah, Liam Rogers. That's suicide last year. Suicide? I've got two suicides in two years, both on Edenton. Only you've got your work cut out, Jexy. Yeah, don't I know it? Right, well, good luck with that. See you Monday. Thanks, Mike. If I make it to Monday, they're going to kill me off, I reckon. It's becoming more like the Wicker Man every every two seconds. Uh, right, um, so we're going to go and quiz them about that. Liam, are we? Is that a good idea? Let's do that. You've got some explaining to do. I'm back. A couple more questions, if that's okay. What can you tell me about Liam? Oh, Liam. You mean the boy who committed very unfortunate sin? Did you know him? Oh, yes, yes. Well, why would I say know him? I met him in the pub. Seemed very happy sort of person. Well, I say he seemed happy. He can't have been, can he? <laughs> what was that? Um, captions went a bit strange there, didn't they? Uh, met them in the pub. Okay, well, let's, let's go and ask. Tell me about oh, oh, let me see that. Oh, Liam. Let me see that. Okay, that's it for now. Thank let's you. go and ask about Liam at the pub, I guess. Is it worth asking anyone else? We'll try the pub first. Bing! A few more questions, please. Thank you. What do you know about Liam? You mean Liam who took his life? He used to Strange be in a band, Black Rock or something? No, Black Stone. Um, very gothic. I used to let them play in here sometimes at the weekends, they were quite good. Did you know there was anything wrong? I mean, why he might have... No, I... I didn't know him very well. Hmm... Well, if they're very Thank you. gothic... Thank probably be back later. Then maybe James has heard them. you a couple more things, please. Did you know Liam? Liam who? Liam who died. <laughs> you mean Liam who killed himself? Yeah. He was in my year, on a different course. What course was Liam on? Can't remember, not mine. What was yours? Plant science. First time I knew about Liam was when he killed himself. Right, so you didn't meet him? Ah, th uh, thanks for your help, as ever. Thank you. Probably be back good. later. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. What do you know about a student called Liam? He committed suicide last year. Um, only that I didn't know him really well. Hmm, really? That's all for the moment, thank you. Uh, what? I want to speak to Simon. Why has he just left? Just pressed the wrong button. There you go. Uh, <laughs> you. Nice apron. Smells nice! What is that? Uh, chilli pork. Oh, no, I have no idea you were a cook. Oh, no, I used to. Used to be more into it. No, I don't do it so much. You used to grow my own herbs and everything. Not here? Uh, no. Uh, at the farmhouse where you used to live? Oh, where was that? That's where James lives. Yeah, we used to share a house together. The farmer used to let us use a corner of his greenhouse to grow stuff. I didn't know you knew James that well. Yeah. Well, didn't really get on. 
Where are the greenhouses? Well, it's just through the farmyard at the back. Oh, look, interesting. Yeah. What do you know about Liam? Liam, local lad, took his wife. Oh, that Liam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard about him. But you didn't know him? No, I, I know he went to college, but didn't really know him. It's sad, though. That Simon is, uh, he's a character, isn't he? He's a piece of work. Be back later on, if that's so okay. Give me that option last time. Very strange. So shall I look for the, uh... Plants? I've already looked in there, I don't know why that made much difference. But he mentioned it, so let's see. Simon mentioned another greenhouse on the farm. It must be up the hill over there. Uh huh. There's weed. <laughs> Nice plants. I wonder w if James w knows this is here. Um, well, it is. Uh -huh. Interesting to see what he says about it. Could be some of that wacky stuff. Was that WW or was it MM? M M B. I don't know. Guess some questions for you, buddy. Could you tell me what these are, please? I found them in the greenhouse. Been snooping around on the farm, have we? It's called investigating, James. Yeah. Just mint. Mint leaves for cooking. Yeah. I uh. I heard you were a bit of a budding chef. Double a bit. Won a few competitions. Very impressive. So you normally just oh, so moody. <laughs> lying around. Must have dropped it. All oh, right. Okay. That's that's that then. Could you tell me what the Thank you. Probably be back later. Couple more questions, if that's okay. You know what these are? No. Look a bit like sage leaves. Haven't seen them before, though. Not at all, no. I thought they were mint. I'm sure, if they're mint, you better smell it. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Probably better smell sage, but mint. That should be really quite strong. You know what these are, by any chance? No. Sorry. I I don't know anything about plants or things like that, but you should ask Rebecca. She used to live on a farm. She can. I'll do that. Thank you. Probably be back later. Can't you just skip to talk to someone? It's a lot easier. A few more questions, please. What are these things? Do you know what these are? Should we smoke some? Find out. Oh, magic mint. Oh, M M did you find magic this? mint. Magic mint. Mm. Salvia divinorum. I used to grow it years ago. It makes you trip. In what way? It's a hallucinogenic and legal. Quite a dangerous combination, really. Do you use it? <laughs> Me? 
No, I don't even take medicines. I um, I like to stay pure. Pure. <laughs> I didn't yeah, expect I Rebecca bet. to know about growing drugs. I know she claims not to use them herself, but I'm not so sure. He's not so sure. Why is she not so sure? Why is she not so sure? There's nothing I can. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Do there, I don't think. Wonder if they use uh, magic mint in those Atlas sessions, eh? With the sex masks. Practicing their pagan rituals. A little bit strange. Can I ask you a couple more things, please. Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. It's a drug, isn't what? it? Yeah, hallucinogenic drug. We've heard drug. of that. Ever tried it? No, no, I've never taken any illegal substances. It's legal. Yeah, yeah, but it's legal, so that that's not answering the question, is it? Why has the detective not picked that up? It's a bit strange. Be back later on if that's okay. Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum? Salvia Divinorum? Uh, no, Magic Mint, same thing. Oh yeah, you mean the drug? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've heard of that. Yeah, I've never tried it. Well, once or twice, yeah. But it's not really my sort of thing, it messes with your brain. I've yeah, never tried any other like drugs it. either. Well, nothing like that, nothing hallucinogenic. Hmm, I wonder if it's in his homebrew. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Knack, knack. Don't mind. Have you ever heard of Salvia Divinorum? Sounds like a Harry no. Potter spell. Um, what is it? It's a hallucinogenic plant. A legal one. At least for the moment. I've no interest in drugs, Inspector. My job. That's the only drug I need. As trite oh, as God. that may sound. Do you know any students who may have used hallucinogens? No. No, my students aren't interested in that kind of thing. Besides, no one is allowed drugs or You're drinking. onto the site. I don't think anyone has ever brought drugs to Atlas. You have any medicines on site at all? No, we're not allowed. Insurance purposes. But he's drinking alcohol, and he said that, that Kate was always drunk at the thing. Do you know what this is? Should have asked it the other way around, surely. Looks like uh, chopped tea bags to me. <laughs> what is it? I just thought you might know. I don't know anything about plants, Inspector. What you should do is ask Rebecca. She knows far more about these things than I do. Uh, messy things. <laughs> growing things. <laughs> messy things. Uh, Kate was drunk at the meeting last Friday. Thank you. Really helping Probably very be much. back later. Maybe I should call the chief because I'm stuck. Unless there's somewhere to walk. Oh, don't do it. Oops. I went this way, didn't I? Oh, here you go. 
What are you doing? Oh, they're probably carving a name Would in the you tree. Mind there. not defacing public property, please. What's it to you? Well, I'm a policeman. And that's supposed to make what difference exactly? It means jumped up little do, shit. Do exactly what I tell you to do. Or what? Or you arrest me? No, I'll give you a fine this time. So if I do something that you don't like, I have to give you some money. What happens if you do something that I don't like? <laughs> You're gonna give me some money. Look, I do not have time to discuss it at the moment. Can you just go? <laughs> Ooh, big man. Pathetic. <laughs> Good old jinx. Devil's horn. Sir. What a prize brat. Huh. But why would he carve that into a tree? Either he's a diehard rock fan or there's more to that symbol than meets the eye. Well, it symbolizes the devil's horns, doesn't it? Can I look at it? Uh how do I Oh. There's nothing here to help me look at that. Man. Let's walk around. See if we see anything new. No. Oh, gone the wrong way. What's down here? Oh, yeah, that's that. Uh, let me look at that this way. Okay, nothing there. Oops, wrong way. Ding dong! Uh, a few more questions, if you don't mind. What's this symbol mean, please? Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum, James? Yeah, James. Was that skin cream? <sighs> it's not a skin cream, no. It's a plant. Really? Don't know much about plants. What? So you've never heard of Salvia? <laughs> you don't know much about plants, but you studied it. You don't know much about plants? What's he talking about? Got a degree in plant science. <laughs> it's the worst uh -huh. liver. So, your degree is in plant science, but you don't seem to know anything about plants. <laughs> still got a lot to learn. So you're still saying you've never heard of salvia? Didn't say that. So you have? Maybe. And you do grow it? Yeah, it's legal, why not? What do you do with it? I use it for... Explorative purposes, meditation. And does this involve anybody else? Why? Do you sell it or give it to anybody else? <sighs> sure. Yeah, it's just for me, nobody else. And that's the only liar, drug you liar, grow, is liar, it? On fire. You're free to go and look if you want. It's okay, I'll look later. The only drug he grows. <laughs> Not sure I believe that, James. Then again, would someone growing illegal drugs bother growing a legal one? Hmm. So it doesn't go any. If I did that, would it mean anything to you? Yeah. It's a Satanism symbol. Satanists mm. use it. Have you ever seen anyone using it? Lots of people. Politicians, presidents, CEOs. Have you ever seen anyone local using it? Not that I remember. Okay. Thank you. Probably be back later. Yes, don't go anywhere. Don't you leave town. Let's go to the pub. See what she knows about what I've just discovered. Bing. A couple more questions, if that's okay. I've asked If I did this, would that mean anything to you? Why is it meant to mean something? No, no, it's okay. Uh, okay, that's good. That's all for the moment. Thank <laughs> you. 
I knew James would know about it. What about these two chuckleheads? A few more questions, please. Thank you. If I did this, would it mean anything to you? Mm, Live long and prosper? No. <laughs> Why? It's okay. Thanks. So useless. Wasting my time. We'll be back later on if that's okay. If I did uh, this, would that mean anything to you? <laughs> Who did you see doing that? Someone in the woods, carving it into a tree. That was Kyle. It's a guy from the course, he's an idiot. And where does he live? I can't remember, somewhere outside the village? The three fingers thing is something the students started doing. It's something from the course. The, uh, the three freedoms. The what? Hmm. The three freedoms? It's from the course, it's um, a phrase. Free to be free? Free yourself from the things that are holding you back. Right? Uh, things that stop you being successful. What are they? There's uh, uh, fear of failure, uh, guilt, and uh, a doubting, uh, a self doubt. You believe that? Yeah. Guilt ruins lives, it stops you looking forward. <laughs> it, it serves no practical purpose, it's basically destructive. Right. No. Guilt is free the way of free. making you... Not the most original slogan, but I wonder how far oh. this freedom goes. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt, Jinx. Guilt is a tool the brain uses to make us change the way we do decisions. For moral and social gain. Anyway, um... So, okay, let's... Oh, let's go and ask his missus again about Thank that. Thank you. Probably be back later. I'm guessing the, um... The freedom necklace was from Ryan to her now. Makes sense. Do you know the phrase free to be free? Yeah. It's an Atlas thing. I first heard it when I went with Simon. What did they say about it? They said that you shouldn't feel guilty if you do something wrong. I don't agree with that. No? No. No. No, I think you should feel guilty if you do something wrong. What did uh, Simon think? I don't know, but I don't think he agreed with that either. Well, he definitely does. <laughs> Just said it, was, it ruins lives. Right. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Since we're close to the pub, we'll go there first. And then we'll go back to Atlas. Bing! Ask you a couple more things, please. Ever heard the phrase free to be free? Do you mean the Atlas thing? Yes, I have. Know what it means? It means being free of guilt. What do you think about that? You mean, do I think it's a bad thing? Do you? I mean, surely if you have done something wrong... Oh, but that's the point, Inspector. Most people spend their time feeling guilty over nothing, and that's not a good thing. Some of the captions are written quite badly, not, not at all matching what they say. Um, Please, people can get hung up on guilt. Oh, there they are. Thank you. Probably be back later. Not sure if there's any obvious contradictions at the moment. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. If I did this, would that mean anything to you? It's a devil sign, isn't it? Is that what you're getting at, Inspector? This is not something you use on the course. Of course it's not something we use on the course, Inspector. I don't even know what that could possibly mean, exactly. Can you tell me a bit about the phrase, free to be free? <laughs> free song to be free, sounds my favourite motto. Well, we teach our students that people, uh, well, they suffer from... 
excessive guilt, don't they? Excessive self-criticism, excessive doubt. Evils of excess, we call them. <laughs> and we tell our students that if they rid themselves of these evils, then they're free to realize their full potential. Who came up with all this? I have a background in psychology. Honestly? Yeah, don't look <laughs> so surprised, Inspector. Uh, there's an intellect lurking in here. When did you come up with the phrase? Uh, when we were based at the village hall. Uh, when I say we, I came up with the phrase, uh, Dad's more the money man. And very successful at it too, I hear. Oh, he's successful, uh, but he's not a creative man. Dad suffers from a, a lack of imagination. The village hall we can't go to till, till, till 8pm, which is fine. I'm now not uh, sure where to the go moment. then. Thank you. Although I didn't ask James about free to be free, but I can't see who you would know anything about it, but I've not done it, so we're going to do it. Ask about a few more things, please. Ever hear the phrase free to be free? Heard anyone use that? Nah. What is it? That's what I said. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Doesn't matter. Right, okay. So, uh, I think it might be, be time to call on, the okay. chief. See if he's there. My name's Fred. Frederick Jenks. Yes, Chief. Bit more news. James Wilson admitted he does know what salvia divinorum is, uh, but he claims it's the only drug he grows. Have you checked? Yeah. I didn't see anything else suspicious. What is this stuff, salvia? What do you do with it? Smoke it? I'm not sure, but I doubt you could smoke the stuff I found. You'd have to dry it out first. I imagine you infuse it or crush it or something. We'll do a bit of research, find out. Does he sell it? He said he doesn't, no. I know he's growing it just for himself, Jenks. There's something he's not telling you. Go through your notes, make sure he's telling you the whole story, will you? Okay, I'll speak to you later, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, he had that, um... What was it? She should, no, uh, hooker pipe before. A couple more questions, if that's okay. It's a way of doing it. When you say herbal tea, do you mean salvia? Probably. So you traded <laughs> salvia tea Probably. with Simon for his homebrew. So? So why did you say you didn't give salvia to anybody else? Did you give it to anybody else? Oh. How many people did you give it to? Did you give it to Kate? No. How about <laughs> Ian? I didn't have anything to do with him dying, if that's what you mean. So you did give him salvia? Yes, I gave him salvia because he asked for it. But that's not what killed him. Well, he committed suicide, James, because of psychological issues that probably weren't helped by him trying hallucinogenic drugs. He didn't commit suicide. You don't know anything about him. You don't know what happened. Okay, so what happened then? Do you even know about Third Eye? Go on. You don't know about Third Eye. You don't know about Third Eye. You know nothing about Liam's death. I mean, forget salvia. Fine, tell me then. Third Eye was a cult. We had our very own psycho cult operating right here from our village hall. Mm. I got rid of them, single-handed. I'm the one who got rid of Third Eye. Did they tell you that at the station? Okay, okay, start again. They were what? You don't know anything, do you? Look. They were reeling in students, pretending to be some sort of happy life course, you know. We can make your life better sort of crap. Then they were putting everyone through this brainwashing program to make them compliant and selling them on. Same symbol as the there. mask. What do you mean, selling them on? Selling them. Objects, commodities. To who? To anyone who could afford them. Top politicians, famous celebrities, wealthy businessmen, you name it. What for? You don't get it, do you? 
third eye were making and selling slaves. There were black market slave traders. They were wiping people's personalities using ECT, brainwashing, cocktails of hard drugs, deliberately turning them into perfect slaves. You know how much slaves are worth on the black market these days? No. <laughs> I'm talking per slave. That's why anyone who stood up to them and threatened to go public like Liam was just killed off. Millions for a slave, don't think so. So you're saying Liam was murdered by Third Eye? Exactly what I'm saying. So when I started looking into it, <laughs> they were all saying it was suicide, but there's no way. So, did you ever actually meet Liam? I found out about him. And how did you find out about all this other stuff? <laughs> it's obvious, you can tell. I met some of the students. You could see straight away there was something wrong. They were like zombies. And I can tell when someone's got ECT damage or when they've been through mind conditioning. It's just obvious. The US military used all these techniques back in the 50s. It's all documented. You can read about it. They showed all the same signs. So, did you ever actually go to a meeting? No, but I knew what went on. How? From what people said who'd been through it. Okay, so do you know anyone I could speak to who did go through it? Well, no. Look, it doesn't matter. Why did they close down if it wasn't true? They just closed down and disappeared overnight after I put all the flyers up. Bit of a coincidence. But that was just after Liam died. Yeah. And do you think that had anything to do with it? Maybe, but, but it was the flyers that forced them to close. <sighs> okay. Do you mind if I keep this? Yeah, you investigate it. It'll all come out. Third Eye definitely killed Liam. Why didn't you tell me this earlier, for God's sake? <laughs> well, that was a lot to take in. Does yeah. James really believe all this stuff? This is the first I've heard about Third Eye. Question is, what's their connection with Atlas, if there is one? Thank you. Probably be back later. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Have you seen this before? Don't take any notice of that. Why? James Wilson is a fantasist. He spends his time pretending to cast spells in the woods. He's not exactly a stable person. And, um... I heard that he was involved with growing cannabis. Really? Well, don't quote me on that. So you don't think there's any truth at all to this? None at all. In the woods, eh? Thank you. Probably be back later. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Have you seen this? Yeah. It was all over college last year. James made it. Idiot. So you don't agree with what I'm saying? No, I don't agree with anything James says. He's absolutely crazy. He thinks that the government has been controlled by aliens, that we're all bugs. Huh. He's nuts. Well, it could be. That's all for the moment. Thank you. Have you seen this before? Oh. Is this the thing that James did? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. What do you know about all this? A third eye, I think they were called? I don't really know anything about it. I mean, I've heard about Liam's death, but all I know about three eyes or whatever is, is on this flyer. So you hadn't heard about third eye? No, sorry. Be back later on, if that's okay. <laughs> I'll just keep coming in and out of your home all night long. Nothing you can do about it. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. What do you know about this? Yeah. 
Not much. So you've never seen this before? You don't know anything about Third Eye? Well, I don't remember seeing it, now. You don't recognise any of the symbols on it? Even though it's on the mask. No, sorry. Aha. Aha. Ryan, you've just told me all about the moon symbols on the mask. Then you're claiming you don't know anything about the symbols on the flyer. It's all the same thing. <laughs> oh, actually, yes. S sorry. Yes, I do, yes, I do remember that. So <laughs> oh, yes. Um, that? <laughs> sorry um, about that. Not much, really. Never came into contact with them. <laughs> that really? That was way too short. Ryan's definitely hiding something. Hoping there'll be something going on there. Oh, no on way. Wonder if Chief is uh, up for a phone call. Lost for ideas at the moment, to be honest, sir. Anything else happened? Not really. Did I mention the student in the woods? No. A rather obnoxious student carving a devil sign into a tree. <laughs> Turned out Atlas used the symbol. Simon Thompson explained it. It's to do with a phrase they use on the course, the three freedoms. Ryan said he came up with it. The three what? The three freedoms. It's about getting rid of your past, or something. <laughs> Sounds as daft as that stuff James Wilson was going on about. Have you found out any more about that? No, not really. Do a bit of research, find out what you can about this cult, who ran it, where they were based, find out what Ryan Rand knows about it particularly. Okay, Chief, I'll call later. Right up. Let's try and find out what we missed. It's got to be 8pm soon, surely. Shirley, don't call me Shirley. Ask you a couple more things, please. Aha. Uh -huh. According to the flyer, this third eye group was based at the village hall, is that right? Was it? Ah, that's where you were based, wasn't it? Um, yeah, you said you invented the Atlas phrase, free to be free, while you were based at the village hall. Mm, so I did. So <laughs> you must have come into contact with third eye at some point. You were using the same hall. Well, I'm afraid I... Haven't been entirely honest with oh, you. Oh, really? <laughs> Go on. You see, Third Eye. Third Eye is, or was, Atlas under a different name. Sorry. Atlas is. Slightly, third eye. Uh, In a new improved oh, form, that? yes. And you ran Third Eye. With Dad, yes. So you must have known Liam. You didn't just meet him, did you? Yes, I knew him, Inspector, but don't get your hopes up. All of this has been thoroughly investigated and cleared up. You've been investigated about his death? They dropped the case. We didn't have anything to do with it. Well, when I say dropped the case, I mean, a police investigation is one thing, but what the public thinks is another. They threatened to go public, and then James Bloody Wilson started distributing his flyers, and that was it. No choice. It was an entry. You had to change the name. We'd already paid the family an out-of-court settlement. We thought that was an entry. Then James, his cronies, they wouldn't leave it alone. So we had to close down. Those middling kids. Buy a new place. Rebrand. So eventually, we reopened here. As Atlas. As Atlas. And it worked? Uh, up till now, yes. So you knew James Wilson too? We knew James, but he didn't know us as such. Oh, he was very quick to shoot us down, but he didn't do anything like actually coming to the course to see what he was about. <laughs> so James wouldn't know that you were now running Atlas. Not unless he came to one of our courses. And how much of all that stuff was true? ECT machines, brainwashing. <laughs> I'm afraid that that exists only exclusively in the mind of Mr. Wilson. 
All we do is make better business people. We challenge their prejudices and presumptions. Why don't you come along and see for yourself? The course starts in 15 minutes. I may well do that. Excuse me, Inspector. It's a strange Hello. ringtone. I can't come back now. Well, you have my car at the moment. All right. All right. <laughs> see you later. Who was that? Uh, that was Dad. I, I have to go back. You can come and meet him if you like. Well, I might come and have a chat. Come with me. 8 p.m. To be perfectly honest, Dad's a great businessman, but he lacks imagination. He does, however, believe in the power of the individual when taught by the right teacher, of course. Ryan! In here. Just coming. He's through here. Time to speak to the old man, then. <laughs> to whom do I owe the pleasure? Detective Inspector James. Oh, they look alike, actually. It's quite a good a choice, in the village. I believe you knew Kate Vine. I recognise that guy, but I'm not sure. No, I thought all this was done for Inspector. You do know that Kate Vine was a gherkin short of a big man. <laughs> you do know. Father. You must forgive my son, Inspector. He still can't summon up the courage to come straight to the point. So what do you want to know? Well, a few more questions, if you don't mind. But I do mind. I'm a very busy man. Try asking an intelligent question. Like, right. do I mind being quizzed about a once promising student who turned into a useless drunk? Ryan, would you mind leaving us for a while? I'll go back to the centre. I have uh, one or two things to prepare. Um, only if you need me, Dad. Cheers, Ryan. Bye. You may begin, Mr. Holmes. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to help you. I don't have much to do with the course nowadays, so I can't give you any hard information. That's as me. Well, no, need. that's as is. All right. But if you want my opinion, I'd be quite happy to give it to you. So, uh, far away. Okay. Thank you. Wow, Paul certainly doesn't take any prisoners. It's obvious who's pulling the strings in this family. And I wonder what they got up to in their previous guise as third eye. Hmm. Eight o'clock already. It's eight o'clock. Let's ask this guy some questions next time. Please like. Please subscribe. Call me a prick in the comments if you want. Bye bye.